All right, in the previous video, we covered registration. And before we get into the login functionality, I just want to cover a few things. So in this video, I want to talk about server only actions, then we will talk about font optimization. And then we will also see how we can keep these links active. So we will have these three topics before we get to our login functionality. Now, the first thing I want to add here is that in our create session, which we defined in the previous video, we passed this results inserted ID to the create session so that we can have our JSON web token signature. However, this inserted ID, which is part of MongoDB, is a type of object ID. So it's not a string. And I forgot to add to string method to this function so we can be sure that we are passing down a string to our create session function. So that is just something I forgot to add in the previous video. You can also add this to your code. Now let's close this one. And I have created this document, my function.js. You don't have to create this. This is just for testing. And I am simply creating a function that is logging something into the console and I'm exporting that. Now I'm going to open our homepage here and call that function. So I can simply say my function and invoke it. So remember, components in Next.js 15 by default are server components. So by doing this, we are calling this function on the server. If we go back to our website and take a look at the console on the homepage, we can see that our function was called from the server. So even though we don't have any directives in any of these documents, but the function was called on the server, since that is the default behavior. Now let's say our home component was a client component. So we can mark this with the use client directive. And if we go back to our website, this time we get the log without the server tag, meaning the function was called on the client side. At this point, this function is being called based on this directive and based on the component that we are calling it from. Now, let's say we want to run our functions on the server, regardless of where they are being called. So even if we call them from a client component, we want to run this function on the server. So we can say use server on this document. Now by doing that, this becomes a server action. And we know all the server actions must be async functions. Now going back to our homepage, we know this is returning a promise. So we want to await for it. However, we cannot just say, for example, async and await. This will give us an error. And if we go back to the website, we can see the error that async and await is not yet supported in client components. So we can kind of work around this one by using a use effect hook from React. So let's import that. And in here, I'm going to create an async function, which I would call it call my function. And then within this async function, I can say await, and then the function that is sitting in this document, which is being run on the server. Now I'm going to invoke this function inside the use effect, and this will run when the component mounts. So we are still inside the client component and calling a server action. Now we have to remove this async from here because it is not supported, but we have our async keyboard inside the use effect. Now let's go back to the website and give it a reload. This time you notice we don't get any log in the console, but if we go back to our terminal, we can see the log here in the terminal, which means it was ran on the server. So we were able to call a server action on a client component. Now there is a third directive, which is a more strict version of this use server, and that is server only. Let's import server dash only. So for this one, we can't just use it as a string. We need to use the import keyword. And then we say server dash only. And by doing this, we are saying all the functions in this document must run on the server only, not even a client component like this. So if we go back to the website, we can see the error that we are importing a component that is using the server only directive. And that only works in server components. So if we want an action to run on the server and explicitly on the server, we can use this statement import server dash only. And by doing that, we cannot call any of these functions that we define in this document on client components. But if we do want to call them on a client component, we can use use server directive. So that's the first thing I wanted to add. And we want to use this statement in two of our documents. So first, 
let me just copy this statement and I'm going to delete this document altogether because it was just an example. And then on our home page, I'm going to delete everything here, including this use effect and going back to the way it was, and we can close this. Now in our db.js, I want to paste that statement. So we want to run all of these actions only on the server. Same thing goes for our session.js. We don't want to run any of these on a client component. So we add import server only to this document as well. So the only three things that you need to add to your project is this import statement to session.js, also to db.js, and then in the register function in auth.js, make sure you add this to a string method to this inserted ID where we call the create session. And that's all about this video. In the next one, we will talk about font optimization.